Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. Today we are going to start off by going to the other buzz box. We need three Thrasher Eyes to toss inside of that buzz box to have it do whatever it does with monster parts. Before we head out here, let's go ahead and make the inn our home. Didn't do that last time and kind of regretted it. And then let's check our inventory. Yeah, we do need to sell some stuff. I'm not going to do cooking and fishing this playthrough. We will do fishing for the quests that we have. And next time we do a playthrough with any kind of like hard mode rules or anything like that, I'm going to do cooking and fishing then. And I was thinking the next time that we do some kind of hard mode rules, one of you guys suggested an interesting rule is that instead of the permadeath, uh, we could do something where when we die, we bust all of our gear and drop the things in our inventory. And I thought that would be really interesting. That's almost a uh, more punishing consequence than simply logging out and deleting the character because then we have to kind of pick up the pieces uh, of our character that now has no gear and no items. And that would be interesting because that would be something that would make me use the bank more. For instance, I'd probably want to farm up a bunch of extra crafting materials and keep them handy in the bank. That way, if we die, we'll be able to craft at least a basic set of gear for ourselves. Same thing with like old weapons. Instead of selling an old weapon, I might want to set it aside and keep a hold of it in case something happens. So yeah, a rule where when we die, we dump all of our inventory and gear, just destroy it all, and uh, go from there. That would be an interesting rule, and that would allow us to continue playing a character even if we got killed. And I think it would be fun to try to work around those kinds of consequences. Uh, and if you guys have any other interesting rules uh, that we could do for future hard mode playthroughs, I would be happy to hear them. I know that they already have things that are like Iron Man challenges and Green Man challenges. I'm not really interested in limiting the rarity of the gear we can equip. I really like the craft it yourself rule that we have going and I'd probably stick with something like that for gear. Part of what I like in MMOs and in RPGs in general is just having systems that offer a meaningful sense of progression. So if we did like an Iron Man rule where we could only equip white gear or even a green man rule, it kind of negates some of the progress we can make with our professions. And I know in some of those playthrough rules, they don't even let you have professions. And for me, doing hard mode rules is something that I'm doing to kind of propel myself to do things in the game that I wouldn't normally do, uh, like crafting. So for me, I don't think one of those Iron Man or Green Man playthroughs would be very fun. I thought this other buzz box was somewhere up here to the north, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Let's go a little further. Just off the coast. That, that could be basically anywhere. Okay, so here are the Threshers, but doesn't really tell me where the buzz box is at at all. Let's use our throwing knives and bring this guy up to the top. The most embarrassing thing would probably be to drown to death and have that be how the playthrough ends. So I have no interest in fighting this guy underwater. This might be the first time I've gotten up close and personal with these things. They actually look pretty cool. That being said, he did kind of kick the cr Oh, we can skin him! Nice! Nice. Skin those plesiosaurs. Uh, we can't bandage. Oh, we can bandage while floating. That's awesome. So collecting these eyes probably is not going to be the hard part. The hard part is going to be finding the buzz box to put them in.
I also see a shipwreck up ahead, and I'm remembering that we have at least one quest that pertains to a shipwreck, maybe a captain and their belongings, maybe two different captains. We'll have to take a look at our log as we get closer up here to this. We're going to let our regen kick in a little bit here and get our health back. Should be able to do that while we swim out to this one. I have a feeling that if we have quests to do at the shipwreck that a little bit of underwater exploration and fighting is going to be necessary. I have drowned before, so it is a possibility. Alright, we have all of our eyes. Let's take a look at our quest log here. Okay, it's orange, so we're not going to explore these yet. We covered the Silver Dawning's lockbox and the Mist Veil's lockbox. Both items should be found aboard the wreckage of the ships to the north of the village. So there are two shipwrecks, this being one of them. And we have to find two different lockboxes. Which probably means we got to fight through a bunch of bad guys to do that. And we're not going to do that right now. I am interested in finding the buzz box, uh, which is yet to make itself apparent. Yeah, it obviously intentionally makes no mention of where the box is at. Well, uh, you know what? I'm just going to stand here and we will wait for him to come back. He, he can't socially aggro anything. And chasing him all through the woods is just going to pull all these other enemies to us. There we go. I kind of remember it being on a grassy ledge nearby the sand. But yeah, I'm not seeing it. And I wonder if it's even going to be in a place where we're going to ever come across it. Just kind of exploring around naturally, or if we're going to have to make a more concerted effort. Huh. 
Okay then. Well. That kind of sucks. It's like, we have a quest complete, but we can't turn it in. Hmm. Okay. Next plan. What to do now? Uh, we could go back down to the south and we could try to do the fall of Amethoran and Tools of the Highborn. That's a possibility. Don't really know where any of these other places are at. Bashalaran to the east. Maybe straight back here? Oh, it's up there, so that's more to the northeast. Let's go do that first. I would really like to hit level 14 before we go down to the south. That way we can take on For Love Eternal and get Anea's Pendant. She was had a couple levels on us, I think. Uh, with it being an orange quest. She's patrolling down around that area where those other highborn quests are at, from what I remember. So yeah, I'd like to be... Level 14. We'll see if that turns out to be possible, or if we run out of things to do before then. Same thing here, there's no way I'm chasing these birds. That would just be foolish. So we need to find the source of the strange blue aura. We're not killing anything, we're not looting anything, we just need to find something and maybe click on it. Alright, then again, there is a question mark at the blue thing we need to investigate, so that doesn't leave much to the imagination, does it? We're just gonna stealth around these guys unless we get a quest to kill them. Ah, to what could I possibly owe the exceedingly special honor of a night elf such as yourself as company? Truly, it says much of my current companions, with no offense to my host, the noble Grells and Satyrs, that your presence could be considered an improvement. Oh, thanks, buddy. But please, do not let my uncivil tongue drive you from this place. It has indeed been many years, decades even, since I had civil accompaniment. If I were to relate the story of my life, I have no doubt it would surpass the limits of your patience. Let us say that mine has been a long and painful life, and this spectral form is perhaps the worst torment of all. I am held here by the means of magic. Though my words may seem disingenuous, I assure you I would be grateful beyond words if you would help me find the means of my imprisonment. A seal binds me, and by examining the earpieces of the sprites and grells, I may find a trace of it. Some of these quests are so, like, just horribly worded. Really could use the love of a good editor. Someone with an English degree, I don't know.
So now we need eight grail earrings. Are all the grails right up here? There's none down here at all? No, they're all up here. Okay. The quests are such that I really wonder if, like, the people who wrote them ever just stopped and read them out loud. Or was it like, well, you know, Microsoft Word's not recommending anything, it must be fine. Ah, uh, this could get a little bit, a little bit bad if we are not careful. Let's try to pull him back a little bit. I don't know if these things are going to run. Yeah, they're going to run. Let's back off and get our health back. Uh, the drop rate doesn't seem to be too bad, at least. Of course I said that and then it completely stops dropping off of anybody. Jinxed it. Okay, this is a rare. Thankfully, he's not hitting like an elite, but I, I certainly should have clicked on him before attacking him. That would have been smart. Let's heal up, and he dropped a piece of male gear. Yeah, two stamina, two strength. So happy we have all of our extra bags now. I must have double tapped stealth there. We went into stealth and then immediately got popped back out. We'll open this chest after we take this guy out. Oh. 
And this guy too. Not going to pass up some leather that's walking right in front of our faces. It's hard not to run out here and fight all these guys right now, but try to stay on course a little bit. I could have hoped for a little more out of that four point eviscerate. Anything good? Not really. Let's start heading back up the hill. No doubt we're going to be getting respawns any minute if we haven't already. Yeah, there are definitely Grells back here, so let's head back towards the Quest Giver. We'll take the rest of these guys out on the way, and hopefully we'll get the last two earrings that we need. They really don't want to drop these last two, do they? All right, there we go, eight out of eight. Let's see if he has a follow-up. Indeed, the Grells of Bashalaran do not possess that which I am searching. That which I am searching. They do not possess that which I am searching for. Or you could not use the word searching. If I'm an editor, I cross out the word searching and I write the word seeking. Or, I write the word for here, and then I send it back to the writer, and then they implement the change so that we don't get this sentence in the game. However, they have come into contact with it recently. Recently, I would reckon that by your time, not mine. Recent for me stretches into the veil of the past, almost another age. Yeah, in all that time in the past, I wish you could have learned English, or just used a, a, a second set of eyes. If the Grells have come 
into close contact with the seal that binds my eternal prison, I suspect I know the cause. No doubt the seal has come into possession of the satyr that lead them. I feel strongly that this must be true. One of the satyr must surely possess it, if you can obtain it. You would bring me so close to passing the bars of my prison that tears would come to my eyes. Tears are coming to my eyes too, but... Mainly because I have to read this quest chain out. And don't get me wrong, not all of the quests are like this. You can tell that the quests were written by various people with various degrees of knowledge and skill with the English language. And probably most of them were just developers. I'd be interested to know how many actual writers were on staff in a position where their literal job was just to write at this period of, of WoW. Whenever these quests were written, I, I doubt it was very many. I'm sure that many developers and people who didn't previously write fiction for a living were writing these quests. And I'm sure that still happens today. You don't really see that big difference until you play other games in the genre that have really good writing. Like Final Fantasy and Elder Scrolls Online. And you see what it's like when a game actually employs a team of creative writers. And editors! All those support people who just add that level of polish to something that takes it from being decent to being great. And yes, we're, we're just killing these guys as I ramble on. Uh, we need to be looking specifically for the satyrs, which there aren't any up here, but... There's one down the hill. Just venting my frustration on the vile sprites. Uh, let's see... Ancient Moonstone Seal. There is one guy down there. Let's take out this Grell. Oh, joy. I don't know about this. Yep. Nope. 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 We're out. We are out. We are so far out. I am not going to get killed while doing the worst written quest in the game. That's not going to be how this ends. It sucks because the area itself is really interesting visually, uh, but the quest itself is not. Alright, maybe we go for this guy. Let's pull him back here. That's right. He's not going to pull very far now, is he? So it's not a 100% drop off of the satyr, it's less than a 100% drop off the satyr. The thing about them is that there's only a handful of them. Wouldn't it be cool in a world where all the guys we had fought were still dead and we could just kind of explore and look around for the guys we needed because we killed all the other guys and they were still dead? That'd be cool. Uh, I see one way back here. 
And he might be in a position where we can get him by himself if we come over and stand near the base of that tree to his right. Uh, let's circle around. We'll take this guy out over here and then we'll try to pull the satyr. Satyr? It's one of those words that I've heard, or well, that I've read a lot, but never heard spoken very much. Well, hey, there's level 14. That actually happened a lot sooner than I thought it would. Can we pull this guy without pulling this other Grell? We're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna have- Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I'll eventually remember that they're ranged. There we go. That works. I'm happy with that. Alright, we still didn't get the item. How wonderful. This is not the best position to be fighting this guy in, but he did not seem interested in running, so it worked out. Same thing here. Uh, let's see, we have evasion off cooldown we could use if we need to. That's assuming we don't pull, like, everybody in the vicinity. Maybe we get just these guys right here. Oh, this one doesn't even seem like he's going to pull until this guy runs. Now we have to be able to fight this guy and hope that he doesn't run into another mob. Because that's about the limit of what we can handle. There we go. And there's the ancient moonstone seal. Okay. Let's make our way up the hill back to the quest giver. And I will prepare my brain to read whatever he has to say next. Taking a look at our talents, we are going to grab the last point and improved gouge. It is hard for me to even believe that what I hold now is that which has held me for so long. Let us waste no time. When the seal is destroyed, I might walk the forest of the earth freely again. I hope so. I hope you get out of here, man. It was the craft of one of the most powerful of the highborn that created the seal that formed my prison. In Amethoran, the ruins to the south that are twin to these persist even today in ancient flame, blue in color. In this flame, this seal could be destroyed. Be wary of the ruins. 
Okay, that's good, because I I'm really glad we came up here and did this first, because now we have four quests to do down here. We need items off of the spirits, we have tablets to click on, we have the item we have to get from an NPC that I think is in this area. I could be wrong about that, I remember her being in that, in that highborn area with the spirits. And now we have this quest, so that's four quests that we should be able to knock out all at once, which is absolutely amazing. With that being done, let's go ahead and return back to Aberdeen. We do have our hearth set there now, so... We are good to go. It's not really a long run. Uh, I probably could have ran back, but I am gonna do some crafting. And take a little bit of a break here at this point. What were we waiting on? I felt like we... Oh yeah, we needed a belt, right? We don't have a belt on. We don't have gloves on. We need the gloves. We're, let's grab the gloves first. The belt takes so much leather. Six pieces of leather. Let's do the belt. And we'll get those equipped. Look at that, our first pair of gloves and our first belt. Now we are styling. Okay. And then for skill ups, we really don't have anything else we can do besides make another pair of gloves. Or an ammo. We don't need any of this stuff. Uh, let's turn our ruined scraps into a piece of light leather. And we'll just make two more gloves and we will sell those. We'll just get the skill up. So we should be at 60. And I do need to explore around and see if there's a leatherworking trainer here or if we're going to have to go back to Darnassus. Uh, we are level 14, so maybe at the end of the next episode, we'll go back to Nessa and then we'll go back into, into Darnassus and we'll hit up our trainer for our rogue and we'll hit up the leatherworking trainer as well and just see if there's anything else that uh, we need to learn or what we can make soon on the horizon. Let's empty out all this junk. Uh, we might need the light hide. Let's keep that. The small lustrous pearl? I, I don't know. I feel like I've needed that for other crafting. I don't know if it's leather working or not. Milk we don't need, copper we don't need, strider meat. Alright, that should be pretty good. I do want to do some organizing here. Uh, something like that should be okay for now. Let's just move this up here. And move this up here. Okay, uh, I am uh, satisfied with that. May the stars guide you. Buzzbox411, if you guys happen to know where that is, like some vague directions would be welcome. I, I'd rather not look it up. I'd rather hear it from you guys. So yeah, let me know what you think. And as always, I really appreciate the support you guys give. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there in the real world, and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Darkshore sometime soon. Bye now.